and that guy there. Well, that's Mr. Sailboat right there. And Danny Summer is here. Massive, massive rain. It's probably not gonna show up on the GoPro, but this is, uh, yeah, it's actually quite wet out here. Oh yeah, it got worse. All right, so if you watched the last video I posted, uh, I unboxed my new uh, radar, it's the BMG 3G uh, radar. Um, so as many boat projects uh, start, it's very easy just to buy the stuff, but now it comes to mounting it. So I'm gonna talk about how uh, how choose to do it on our boat, uh, the pros and cons on, uh, on various options. And so please follow along. That's basically, two options on a sailboat. You can either fit your radar on the mast, which is a very good option. You have a very long stick uh, on a boat anyway. You can put it there, you're gonna get a excellent range. Uh, or the other, other option is gonna put it on a, uh, on a pole, normally on the, uh, on the stern of the boat, so it doesn't conflict with anything. What's the benefit there? Well, you're probably gonna get a better uh, short range because it's gonna be a bit lower. Uh, it's a bit easier to, uh, to do any kind of maintenance because it's basically just gonna be in like two meters, two meters and 20, so a normal adult can easily reach it. If you put it on the mast, well, it's out of sight. Uh, downside is of course, it's gonna be up five, six, seven, eight meters, depending on your bulk. So it's gonna be a bit harder to service it. Uh, installation is gonna be quite tricky if you have the mast on your boat. That said, I decided to uh, to go with the uh, with the pole mounted on the, on the stern. Uh, if it's gonna look horrible, um, you know, I can always put it on the mast uh, next season. We're gonna take off the uh, the mast, but uh, but for now, we're gonna put it on a on a pole. Okay, so since I am a mechanical engineer as my my day job. Uh, I really like to overcomplicate things. So uh, instead of just going out buying something that's like just too easy, I'm gonna make my own. So before we go into the uh, actual design phase, um, there are two main options when it comes to like these poles. Um, you can either have a fixed mount where the radar is just gonna sit on a flat level surface according to the boat, or you can have it on a gimbal that's on a, on a pivot all the time. So uh, if the boat is heeling over, the gimbal is gonna keep the, um, the radar fairly level to the horizon, and it's gonna give the, like, in theory, the best radar picture. And again, that's all complicated stuff. So um, I'm gonna make something kind of like in between. So the gimbal versions are fairly complicated to make uh, yourself because they require some, some quite good bearings. Uh, there's gonna be water tide and, and all those. And there's also one big downside of this um, with the gimbal is that it's always gonna sit there and tilt back and forth. And there could be some chafing, there could be some rubbing on your, on your cable uh, that could lead to some, some cable failures. So I came up with a different solution and I'm gonna utilize a, a linear actuator. So I'm basically gonna make a pole. I'm gonna have some kind of tilting mechanism up there. And instead of having that tilting mechanism be kind of like driven by gravity and a gimbal, I am instead gonna use this linear actuator and a switch on my helm. So that means that when we are either healing over to one or the other side, I can simply um, manually adjust the, the radar to be fairly level uh, to the horizon and then give me the best radar picture. It's gonna be extremely fun to do. There's gonna be a lot of parts, so um, let's get to it. Well, let me just go up and uh, make some quick cat drawings. And um, after I made that design, I'm gonna head over to my little trusty homemade CNC three axis machine here. And uh, then we're gonna make some, uh, some chips.
So that was a lot of machining. So I have all the parts sitting here. That's the actuator. We got the base plate for the radar. This is a little bracket for holding the actuator to the base plate over here. This is part of the tilt mechanism. Some parts for that, some 3D printed spaces. This is a Delrin uh, bushing just to uh, bolt everything together. The other end of the um, actuator uh, bracket. A bracket to attach the pole to the aft stern rail. So this is the 60 millimeter here and then a one inch or 25 millimeter uh, U-bolt here. And then of course the molded piece here, that's the uh, Filled with uh, fiberglass and chopped fiberglass and epoxy and then the two 8mm bolts that's um, insert molded here. And then in the back we of course have the, uh, the main pole. So it's now a few days later and all the aluminium parts have been transformed into these white beauties here. So I uh, first I primed them with a uh, 1K epoxy primer and then painted with this um, custom uh, white which should match the boat. Yeah, let me put everything together here and then I think the uh, entire contraption will make more sense to you. Um, tilting mechanism working pretty good. Uh, so now it's just a matter of mounting the um, the linear actuator, so we can power up this thing and see how it's it's tilting it. And let's see if this works. Da, da, da. Pretty cool. And the other way. I think I'm gonna call that a uh, giant success here. Um, and if you notice that the, uh, I didn't even take the power off, so the linear actuator has a built-in limit stop at each end. So it doesn't really matter, you're going to run it to the end, it's just going to gonna stop by itself. Uh, so I'm going to pack this nicely and um, yeah, the next step that's, um, that's going to the boat and, um, and mounting it and then we are done with it.
right, as you can see, it's uh, time for a sea trial of the new system. I'm out all by myself because the captain, she's uh, traveling. She's visiting her parents in Slovakia. Uh, so I found this beautiful Danish summer weather day. Uh, it's about 10 knots of wind. Some um, bit black clouds there. Some rain, 16 degrees, but it's wonderful out sailing. We are on autopilot now. We're doing doing 7.6 knots, going quite fast, heading north towards the island of Vigen. And uh, check out the radar there. So you can see it's, uh, it's in a nice level angle. And I can switch it right here on my little uh, helm station. So I can tilt it, one side and the other side. You see in the background there, we have a beautiful um, black powder fire boat. 50 footer also in the, in the same arena where I am and it shows up nicely here on the radar with the blimp down there um, yeah you can see there's another sailboat out there and that's also on the radar there I call this a uh, a great success to engineering and to, especially to over engineering so I'm a bit in doubt if like, is it really necessary all this tilting the radar? Uh, I'm not sure. sure. Um, so one day when we have extremely like calm conditions, I think I'm gonna go out just motoring and uh, I'm gonna find like a, a fairly sized boat, find on a radar, try to tilt the, uh, the radar down, see if it's gonna go missing off the radar image or, or not. Uh, yeah. But anyway, I think it's a quite cool feature. I don't see anyone in the marina who has this, and uh, yeah, sometimes that's that's what it's all about. And it was extremely fun to do this project. Yeah, I'm not really like machinist, but you know, I'm engineer. I like doing uh, doing these things. Uh, yeah, and we have a fast moving boat here. Let's see if we can see him on the screen. One of those ribs with like probably 600 horsepower. And let's see. Oh yeah, he tracks nicely right there. Even though it's a quite small boat, we still uh, track him very nicely. So I actually did plan to end this video before, but um, it seems like I can also use the radar as a uh, weather radar. If you look in the background, it looks pretty wet there, and uh, the wind is blowing this direction. And if you check out the radar, well, these are not all small boats coming. This is also the uh, weather system on its way. So um, I think my chances of, uh, of outrunning this one is slim to none. Yeah, we are right in the middle. So the reason why you don't have anything in the middle is of course of the... Um, so go in here. It's the... Uh, that angle the uh, radar waves or whatever it's called are being formed so it has like a maximum of 25 degrees from from the level plane um, yeah so of course it's not going to read anything like before it's up to a certain height i think i need to insert a drawing for this this is uh, this is too wet so i'm turned i've just tacked turn around Heading back home, and what do you do with the radar then? Well, now we see it's still the ankle, so I'm just gonna tilt it back. One heavy engineer slash sailor. So the uh, the radar sea trial in uh, in quite nice conditions turned out to being a uh, a test also in uh, in massive rain and um, and how it works. Uh, you know, also to see the weather system coming. So that's quite cool. I played around with the uh, some of the functions before. That's why I'm so freaking wet. Uh, and because first, when I saw the radar image, you just get like red dots everywhere because of the rain system. So you can't really see other see the other boats, which doesn't really make sense if you are uh, if 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 you would also have like poor visibility because of even more rain. Uh, but it's there was a few settings I could play around with. So um, 
So actually it filters out most of the rain and just shows the boat. So for example, right now I have a sailboat out there. There. And if we go to the screen, well, you can see uh, this is all the rain clutter there. And that guy there, well, that's Mr. Sailboat right there. So um, you just have to go to settings, radar options, just I think gain sea clutter. Yeah, that one. It was set to marina, I think, before a harbor. So um, yeah, now it just removes all the clutter around, at least like around the vicinity of the of the boat. So that's quite cool. The uh, rain has finally stopped. The sun is almost back. And I am almost at the uh, at my home arena in a few minutes. So uh, let me end this video by saying thank you for watching. And if you like it, please uh, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, please uh, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, so hopefully I'll be back with uh, more interesting projects in the near future. See you.